Google, why is it called an eggplant? According to Wonderopolis, they look like goose or chicken eggs, which led to the name eggplant. Interesting. Did you know that eggplants are technically fruits, although we often consider them as vegetables? Hi, welcome to Journey to Hydroponics. In this video, we shall be growing hydroponic eggplants, the long purple variety type. We start off our germination with sterilizing the cocoa peat in the microwave for about 3 minutes. Once it has cooled down, we spread the cocoa peat onto a microwave container whose drainage holes were made using a soldering iron. Moisten the cocoa peat with treated water. My treated water is tap water which has been kept in an open container for at least a day to remove the chlorine. Make holes in the cocoa peat that are big enough to hold the seeds. Cover the seeds with cocoa peat and spray once more with treated water. I place a plastic sheet above the cocoa peat to retain the moisture and added some weights on top so that the seeds are snuggled with the compressed cocoa peat. Finally, I place the seeds inside a box so that it can germinate in darkness. Check the seeds in about 5 days. When you see some buds appearing, you can now expose them under your indoor lights, about 1 or 2 inches away from the light. Now I'm using T8 18 watts LED daylight which give about 2500 lumen and about 6000 Kelvin. Bottom feed the seedlings with treated water, making sure you keep the cocoa peat moist. On day 12, I noticed the third leaf appearing, so I began to bottom feed with nutrient solution. The nutrient solution I'm using is an international brand called Master Blend, and the formula I use is similar to the formula I use with most vegetables. On the 17th day, I transfer the seedlings to their final container. I'm using 1.5 and 2 liter PET bottles which used to contain juice. I cut the tops off wide enough to fit my 8 ounce plastic cup which will be used to hold the plant. I used the soldering iron to create these holes and fill the cup with cocoa peat about 3 fourths high. Carefully, loosen the sides around the seedling and lift it up. Place the seedling in the middle of the cup and cover the hole with cocoa peat. Pour in your nutrient solution to compress the cocoa peat so that the seedlings look stable. Every two to three days, check the level of your solution. When the roots are still short, make sure that the solution is placed a little above the edge of the cup to keep the cocoa peat moist for the roots. Don't forget to cover the container with aluminum foil to prevent light or the sun from passing through and creating algae. Because eggplants love the sun, I will be placing these plants in my balcony which gets afternoon sun. As the roots grow longer and plenty like this, this is day 61, the solution level is kept about 1 to 2 inches below the cup. This passive hydroponic technique is called Kratky and it's the method I often use in growing my hydro plants. On day 68, flower buds began to appear, and in a couple of days, the blossoms appeared. Did you know that eggplants have cross-pollinating male and female flowers on each plant? This is the pollen producing anthers, and this is the pollen receiving pistils. A 
As soon as the blossoms appeared, I pollinate the plants by hand. I use a fine paintbrush like this to move the pollen from one to the other in the early mornings before I head to work. After a few days, some blossoms dry out or fall off, others become the buds of the fruit. Let's talk about the maintenance of the eggplant. Monitor the level of the solution and refill it when necessary, making sure that the roots don't dry out. For the variety of eggplant I'm growing, I can cut off the low leaves and any leaves that are yellowish are not healthy. I also pinch out these little stems that sprout from the base of the plant and from the points of the branch division. This allows the plant to focus more on its energy on fruit production. On day 115, I harvested my first batch of eggplants. You know when it's time to harvest, when the fruits look shiny. On day 125, I harvested my second batch of eggplants. This is day 131, and the third batch of eggplants are looking nice and healthy. Well, that's about it. Thank you for watching Journey to Hydroponics, and I hope you continue to watch this channel for more videos. Bye-bye.